total space aginess. As you know, I drive everywhere with Knox Studio and look, look, I have a heads up display. Oh, that is just the coolest thing ever. Wow, let's go ahead and rev it. Oh, you can sort of, wow. Quick correction before you start this review. I just put the little film thing right up there to avoid the doubling of the image and it does not create any residue on, on your windshield. So if you are apprehensive like I was, as you will hear in this review about putting this little sticky thing on there to uh, improve the reflection of this guy on your windshield, don't worry, if you don't like it, you can peel it off and there is no residue stuck on your windshield. <laughs> How cool is that? Are you happy, Lucy? Yeah. Hello, Amazon.com. It's me, Bo Chevisu, along with my little daughter, Lucy, right there. Don't worry, we're not gonna go out on the open road with a toddler in my passenger seat. I'm not that bad of a parent, but check this out. We're just here to show and demonstrate and see Daddy, if it- Daddy, yeah. reading the sister book. Yes, and she, Lucy's reading the sister book. We, we wanna see if, in fact, these little things work. Um, now, I've driven some Corvettes before, back when I was a, a valet, and they have these little heads-up displays. Um, but this right here, you can install on virtually any vehicle. As you can see, it goes down and around, and it plugs into, and I'll, we'll get a closer look later. Um, it's, it's purposefully just kind of loose like that, so I can show you how it's installed. Um, but if you look at that, you'll see that it's kind of flashing right now. Don't worry, it doesn't flash like that. It just flashes like that on camera, because I'm only filming 30 frames per second. And in real life, that those numbers are just a solid, steady, um, you know, uh, uh, light, so to speak. It's not flashing. But uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull forward in my little driveway right here, very gently, very slowly, just so you can see it react. And so it went up to three miles per hour, and then back down to one, and then zero. Now, once again, it's not fixed right there because, again, I wanted to show you how you actually do that. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually we're gonna just uh, leave it in the ignition right there so it's still on just so you can see that pretty pretty lights beautiful uh, so what this comes with a few hints tips tricks on how to install these things uh, first of all um, as you can see it will slide all over the place and so that is fixed by this little rubber mat right here and you're gonna have to clean uh, of course my dash is very dusty right now, but you're gonna have to clean that. And then once you stick it on there and then stick this on there, it won't go anywhere and it won't move around. Also, uh, if you have any kind of double reflection because there are some uh, windshields that have two layers to them. So if I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on, I don't see any double reflection right there on mine. Uh, let's see if it actually turns on. Oh, let's go ahead and turn it on. Actually, let's see, uh, one, two, three, there we go. And as you can see, fairly responsive. And it says HVO or heads up display, etc. So um, I don't really see that much of a double. Well, okay, a slight double. But you know what? For me personally, I'm going to deal with that because I want to see through this. And if you use the included film right here that they provide you, um, it sort of restricts a little bit of your vision, as you can see. Um, actually, either way, it sort of restricts it. However, if you really, really want to go off of this, uh, you can put this up there, and as you can see, it's a lot better, and you can see it a lot better. Uh, once again, the flashing, I don't see that with my human eye. That's just picking that up on the camera. That's the fault of cameras. Um, so, there you go. You can put this on your windshield like that, but as you can see, it sort of gets in the way. A uh, matter of fact, I think it's supposed to go like that. Um, and I don't really care for that. So I can deal with the double vision uh, just fine as long as I can continue to see through my windshield. But that's just me. So those are the two accessories. Um, this is how you actually scroll through some of the features. So there is an on-off switch right there in case you want to turn it off and then turn it on right there. Uh, there was an annoying little beep, uh, which I think that's because my check engine light is on, um, but I just uh, turned that off fairly easily by following the instructions. And actually, I really need to show you that because this is fairly important for this thing. 
Uh, so the instructions are fairly well written, but this page right here is really what you want to know. So this is how you cycle through adjusting each of the things. And if you're in the United States, you're gonna need to do this, unless of course you want it to remain in Celsius or kilometers or things like that. But of course, here in the United States, we have our own little system because we're special like that. Uh, let's go ahead and actually show you how to get into the settings. So on the side right here, there is a little uh, rocker switch and you can select it by going this way or that way. So either pushing that way or pushing that way or pushing straight down. So first of all, you need to push it straight down on this thing to select it. So hold it for five seconds and oh wait sorry one more time five seconds one two there we go all right so as you can see in the upper right there's zero see that red zero that red zero corresponds to um right there the zero right there and as we cycle through it that zero will change to oh wait sorry uh I'll put that back uh, there we go so when we push down push in see it changes one and two, three, four, and let's say you wanted to change the speed unit. So uh, see that from, from kilometers to miles per hour, so the speed unit would be 10 in the upper right. So simply keep going through this until you get to 10, so seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And um, so I was pushing in once again, and then to select, so from miles per hour, we're going to go to kilometers and you select it by rocking it back and forth like that. Very easy, very intuitive, but we're going to keep it on miles per hour and you can continue to select uh, through all the different options. And to exit out of the menu, you simply hold this down for five seconds or so until it exits out and hold it down. There we go, and we are back in action right there. So this can go all the way down there. It can go all the way up here, which I would suggest trying to place it uh, pretty much as far down as possible just so it's out of your, your uh, view. Also, be sure that you do have the little ODB port, and we are going to go ahead and turn this off and show you exactly what you need. Uh, yes, I love interview or er, reviews when people actually tell you what you need before you actually buy the product. Um, so this is how it looks down here, uh, plugged into. Uh, let's try to wiggle it out. Ah, there we go. So this is the plug, and as you can see, they're nicely numbered and everything, uh, from one, two, three, four, all the way to sixteen, and it plugs right into there. So if your car has this port this will work, uh, which virtually all new cars do have this little OBD port. Um, car mechanics use this for diagnostics and things like that, but you're gonna use it for your heads up display. So you feel all space AG. Overall, uh, this is a excellent bang for your buck. It's incredibly easy to install. Uh, really, you just need some Windex to clean up everything. And uh, you pretty much, transform your car into a rather space agey looking type vehicle. Um, as far as I know, it is accurate uh, when you drive around and you can tell, like, like with the miles per hour and the kilometers per hour, it reflected perfectly with my uh, speedometer down there. Um, but now you don't have to look back and forth, back and forth, back and forth as you're driving. All you have to do is just barely glance down there. I also like the fact that it doesn't get in your field of vision. You can still see the entire road as you're going. It's just a simple reflection, almost as if you had a napkin or something like that on your dashboard. It's just a reflection, your eye ignores it and you can continue driving just fine. So five out of five stars, highly recommended, easy to set up, Look so I cool. I take the, take the napkin. Yes, you did take the napkin. My name is Bo Chevesu, and I look forward to demonstrating and reviewing more fun things here on Amazon.com.